and Eastern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News at 5.30. Good afternoon, I'm Connor James. Thanks for joining us here at 5.30. Due to possible flooding throughout our region, we have declared a severe weather alert day. Meteorologist Paige Noel has more from our weather center. Paige, what can we expect with this rainfall? Well, Connor, we could expect some localized flooding in some areas really tonight and then really into your Thursday as well. That's why we have this flood watch in effect until Thursday right around noon. You can see that right here. That flood watch has been extended for all of our counties over into Kentucky and all of eastern Kentucky and really all of Kentucky is in this along with our West Virginia counties. They are also in this flood watch. Now, as we look at satellite and radar, we are seeing that rain and those clouds increasing throughout the day. Heavier line moved through a little bit earlier. Some of us getting in on a little bit of break, but more rain is expected. So as we look at pinpoint Doppler, you can see heavy rain really starting to move into the Cumberland Valley area, which is what we're going to have to keep an eye on over the next really couple of hours because they look like they're going to be be hit the hardest tonight. Now temperatures, they're a little bit cooler as well. Those low 60s across eastern Kentucky, some spots already into those upper 50s as that rain is cooling them off. But really, we're not going to drop all that much as we head into those overnight hours. We'll continue to see those warm temperatures heading into tomorrow. We're also going to see that heavy rain continue. Cold front, though, comes through, cools us off, gives us a nice weekend, but definitely a cooler weekend. We'll break down that full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Thanks, Paige. I know you guys have been keeping a close eye on that rain. Well, jailers say they are cracking down on the statewide issue of inmates sneaking in contraband into the jails, something they say is a struggle every day. WYMT's Hannah Reynolds talks to jailer Gary Ferguson in Bell County. It's an ongoing struggle, and it's one that you really can't uh, let up on any at all at any time. Bell County Jailer Gary Ferguson says he is constantly on his toes as inmates try to smuggle contraband. From cell phones to, you know, illegal drugs, you know, methamphetamine, I mean, it's just, you know, types of pills. We probably have confiscated, I would say, in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 pounds of tobacco in four years and trying his best to think of new ways to prevent any access points monitoring our phone calls and looking out for contraband being dropped off within the facility or around the facility at all times and ferguson says part of keeping the drugs out includes installing 120 new cameras soon covering even more angles in order to help us combat the ongoing you know problem that you know not just this county has but every county in the state and actually every facility in the United States. Fighting to keep their jail contraband free. In Bell County, Hannah Reynolds, WYMT Mountain News. Jailer Gary Ferguson says they will also be pursuing charges of anyone trying to help bring in anything into the jail. Over in Perry County, a man is behind bars after deputies found stolen license plates and drugs. Deputies with the Perry County Sheriff's Department arrested 21-year-old Brian Dale New on multiple charges. The license plate on the car he was driving was stolen. They found an additional stolen plate in the car. They also found three small bags of meth, 11 syringes, cooking spoons, and tourniquets. New is in the Kentucky River Regional Jail on multiple charges. The Mingo County Sheriff's Department is asking for the public's help finding a man who stole not one, but two vehicles. They're looking for this man. Take a look at Billy Stratton. Officials say yesterday he stole a 2006 Chevy Silverado from the Varney area of the county. Then today he stole a 2008 Ford Explorer from the Duncan Fork area. Anyone who has any information is asked, asked to contact the Sheriff's Department. And in Lawrence County, a newly formed task force between the county sheriff's office, Louisa Police Department, and County Constables Association hopes to focus on drug enforcement. The Drug Interdiction Co-op Enforcement, or DICE, will focus on high-risk or high-warrant priority warrants and drug enforcement throughout the county. If you have any information on drug activity, you're asked to call 606-638-4851. Since 2016, developers and the city of Jenkins have been working to bring Raven Rock Casino Resort to an overlook on Pine Mountain. Now they must wait for lawmakers to make the decision on the gambling expansion bill before any further steps are taken. Developers tell WYMT's Taylor Upchurch the casino could be a, quote, magic bullet leading the city to tax revenue and a better pension fund.
Pine Mountain, a potential new home for Raven Rock Casino Resort. We want to be the first ones to start breaking ground on a resort casino. Jenkins City officials and developers say Virginia, too, sees benefits a casino can have on pension and tax revenue. For this dream to become reality, Kentucky state lawmakers would have to reconsider the ban on gambling. Horse racing's been a part of Kentucky for over 100 years. It, it should be a natural progression for the state legislators to pass the expanded gaming law bill. Mayor Todd DePriest says the words casino and gambling often make people think of organized crime. For those who have Governor Matt Bevan is one who disagrees with casino style betting. You know, it's, it's nothing like that anymore. It, it's an entertainment industry. It's well regulated. An industry potentially creating nearly 1,000 jobs with an average pay of $50,000, giving people with or without a degree an opportunity. From ballet parking uh, to housekeeping, uh, custodians, and, and a broad range, all the way up to higher management. Raven Rock Entertainment CEO James Hibbett says this 300-room hotel could create a better working environment. It's not a magic bullet per se, but it's as close to a magic bullet as we can get. Hoping to partner with the state for growth. In Letcher County, Taylor Upchurch, WYMT Mountain News. Developers say the casino and hotel's gaming floor is projected to be 50 to 60,000 feet. They plan to include an auditorium for musical entertainment and an adventure park. Well, the University of Kentucky student has been indicted in the death of a four-year-old boy. Our media partners at the Lexington Herald Leader report 18-year-old Jacob Hill now faces a reckless homicide charge. Police say he was under the influence when he hit Marco Shemwell at a UK football game back in December. President Trump says the U.S. will still be deeply involved in the fight against ISIS, even if American troops leave Syria. CBS News correspondent Mola Lange reports from the White House on an important speech he made today. President Trump trumpeted the progress made against ISIS as he spoke before the ministers of the global coalition to defeat the terrorist group. It should be formally announced sometime, probably next week, that we will have 100% of the caliphate. The president's assertion, ISIS is almost defeated, comes as he justifies his decision to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. We look forward to giving our brave warriors in Syria a warm welcome back home. But President Trump faces resistance from his own Defense Department, which warns the group could stage a comeback in 6 to 12 months if U.S. troops withdraw. The top commander of U.S. forces in the Middle East spoke before a Senate committee Tuesday. We do have to keep pressure on this network. Uh, it is a resilient network. Uh, it does have certain components that are still left in it. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo offered reassurances to the coalition partners. It is not a change in the mission. It does not change the structure, design, or authorities on which the campaign has been based. Pompeo told the partners the drawdown will be coordinated and that details would be released soon. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. Pompeo also said members of the coalition need to be willing to prosecute and punish foreigners who have joined ISIS. Well, coming up on Mountain News at 5.30, thousands of children's toys are being recalled. We'll have the details. And J.C. Penney is getting out of the appliance business, why they're dumping it after bringing it back just three years ago. When you see